Once you've set up your OrcaView unit, you'll need to pair it with software to capture 360 videos. If you've selected to use OrcaView software, you should have received a confirmation email with a link to set up an admin account. Be sure to use that email to set up a username and password. Log into my.photosapp.com. After logging in, you will land on your admin homepage. Start by adding a promotion for your upcoming shoot. We recommend naming these promotions with the dates and a description of what you will be shooting. Today, we'll be preparing the software for a wedding shoot. Then create a 360 video booth campaign within that promotion. Before moving forward, be sure to download the OrcaView video booth software configuration templates to design the various images needed for configuration. Click on the Photos app booth settings tab near the top of the page. Scroll down the page and add a selection screen background. This image will appear on the camera screen as guests approach the booth. Continue down the page and select Allow Navigation to Settings to allow the booth operator to access the software settings while activating the booth. Select Create a PIN to create a password for your operator. Continue down the page and select Back Camera. We strongly recommend only using the back camera of an Apple device for OrcaView videos. The back cameras film with higher frame rates and better light sensors that allow for clearer and smoother 360 slow motion videos. Continue scrolling down the page and set the device orientation to landscape. Scroll back to the top of the page and return to the included campaigns tab. Then select master overlay under your 360 video booth campaign. To add a static overlay image, select choose a new overlay and add a PNG image you created using the template mentioned earlier in this video. For this example, we have added the groom and bride's name to the bottom of the image. If you are wanting to add a video overlay, skip this step and we will show you how to add the video overlay later in this video. You will also be able to select different aspect ratios on this tab. The most popular aspect ratios for social media are square and 16 by 9. These are the only aspect ratios we have provided templates for. Scroll to the bottom of the page and select online delivery. On this page, you will edit the email that is sent to your guests. Begin by entering who you would like the email to be addressed from. Then create a subject line for the email. Using the templates discussed earlier in this video, create and upload a banner graphic for the email. You are also able to link this banner. Next, choose a background color for this email as well as a text color. Then you can edit the text for the body and link in the email. Next, you can choose the bottom body text. Finally, save your edits, return to the top of the page, and go to the SMS tab to configure the texting campaign. In the SMS tab, you are able to configure the top body text and the bottom body text for text messages that guests receive, with a link to download their videos. After editing these fields, be sure to save your configurations. Return to the top of the page and click on the Photo Page tab. When guests send the videos to themselves in an email or text message from the sharing station, they will be directed to this photo page where they can preview, download, or share any of the videos they created during your activation. You are able to configure what that page will look like here. Begin by giving the gallery a title. Then use the templates mentioned earlier in this video to create and upload a banner graphic. If you would like, you are able to provide a link for that banner graphic. Next, select a background color for the page. Then select which sharing buttons you would like to show guests. We strongly recommend ensuring that the download button is available for your guests at each activation. If you would like, you may also add a call to action button and a link to direct guests to another page or product offering. Save your configurations and scroll to the top of the page to select the social tab. On this page, you can configure some predefined content for some of the available download methods you selected on the previous page. When you have completed the social configurations, save your settings, scroll to the top of the page, and select the test. On this tab, you will be able to send a test email to any address that will allow the tester to view, download, or share your test content in the same manner your guests would be able to. If you would like, you can also change the photo the tester would receive. After sending a test email, it's time to configure the booth app. 
Scroll to the top of the page and select the Booth App tab near the top. We'll begin by setting the Attract screen and UI. On this page, you can use the templates mentioned earlier in this video to design and upload an Attract screen that is displayed on the camera as guests enter the booth. Configure the user interface colors for the campaign and configure the user interface background. We suggest setting this background to all black since it will only be viewed by the Orca View operator. Save your configurations and scroll to the top of the page and click on the Filters and Effects tab. Select Video for the type of image. We will now configure the software for the ideal OrcaView video capture. Select Normal for the preset and set the recording duration to 4 seconds. You may add an MP3 file under Soundtrack if you would like music to be playing in your video. Under Speed Changes, click Add New Speed. Set the start to 0 and the end to 4. Set the speed to 25%. This will provide guests with a 16 second video that is shot in one quarter speed slow motion. If you would like to add an animated overlay to your video, you may upload it in the animated overlay section. It is important to note that any overlay added here will appear under the main overlay added earlier in the video. Save your configurations and scroll to the top of the page to click on the sharing and data collection tab. In this tab, you can toggle email and SMS availability for how guests can receive a link to the photo page. There are also abilities to add features to the guest experience, like a survey or a consent agreement. Contact OrcaView for help setting up any of these elements. Save any changes to your configurations and scroll to the top of the page and click on Advanced Settings. Ensure that you have a countdown of at least three seconds. When you are filming with the OrcaView, you will begin the recording and the OrcaView's rotation simultaneously. The unit takes at least three seconds to reach its full rotation speed, so you'll want to allow the unit time to accelerate to speed. Set the capture resolution to your preferred resolution. Normal resolution videos will have a height of 960 pixels, and high resolution videos will have a height of 1080 pixels. Be sure to only select high resolution if you are sure you will not have bandwidth issues during your activation. You may also add a prompts before capture PNG file if you would like. It's always great to have a backup of the videos you capture, so upload the videos and save the videos on the device whenever you can while activating. Save your configurations and you are now ready to configure your devices for use. Click on your promotions title to return to the promotion home screen. On the Apple device you will be using as the camera for your activation, download the Orca Booth app from the App Store and open the app. Click Scan to bring up the app's QR reader. Click the Flip Camera button on the reader and hold the QR code on the promotions home screen up to the camera to be scanned. Once the QR is scanned, your promotion will be loaded to the camera device. If you believe you will have people lined up at your activation, you may want to set up a separate iPad as a sharing station for your video booth. To do this, download the Orca Share app from the App Store and open the app. Just as you did on the camera device, select Scan to bring up the app's QR reader. Select the Flip Camera button on the reader and hold the QR code on the Promotions home screen up to the camera to be scanned. Once the QR is scanned, your promotion will be loaded on the sharing device. After the promotion has loaded, click the top blue bar with your promotion's name to queue up the sharing station. Back on the camera device, scroll down to and select sharing station, and then select your sharing device. It is important to note that these two devices must both be connected to the same Wi-Fi and have Bluetooth turned on in order to connect. If you do not have a device for a sharing station, you can still allow guests to download their videos straight from the device that you are using to film 360 videos. They will simply step down from the OrcaView platform and be prompted to send the video they just recorded via text or email before the next video can be shot on that device. After pairing a sharing station, add the camera device to the OrcaView. Place a test subject on the OrcaView and then scroll to adjust the exposure. Adjust the exposure bias so that the guests are not too dark or too blown out and adjust the color temperature so the guests do not appear too orange or too blue in the screen. Click Done when you are finished. Then click the top blue bar with your promotion's name to launch the video booth. You are now ready to film your first 360 video. 
Now that you are ready to start recording 360 videos, invite your first guest onto the platform. When you are ready to record, simultaneously tap anywhere on the attract screen to launch the camera and click the wireless remote or step on the OrcaView's foot switch to begin rotating the OrcaView. While the OrcaView is spinning, encourage the guest to not step off the platform and try to keep eye contact with the camera. After the recording ends, turn off the OrcaView and when the arm has completely stopped rotating, invite the guest to step off the platform. The camera device will ready the video and either become ready to share the video or send the video to the connected sharing station. After sharing the video, the camera device will revert to the attract screen and become ready for the next video. If you elected to use a sharing station, guests will be able to select and preview their videos and then share them by SMS or email. When the guest is done sharing their videos, click done and return to the gallery. And that's it. You now have all of the information you need to start capturing stunning 360 videos and deliver them to guests at any event using an OrcaView. If you have any questions or would like to talk to a representative, we're always here to help. Just shoot us an email at info at or visit our website.